How do I get in here? No, seriously, how the hell do I get in here? I really like to be inside of the building with the nice lights, please. That that would be really. Oh, thank God, there's a door. Okay, maybe uh, in future respect, the door is probably a good option. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Let's just wait here for a second. Listen to this. What do you mean? Oh, that's just not cool, okay? People who live in trailer parks are fine people. Oh, wow. What does that have to do with you? Well, thank you very much for that uh, compassionate viewpoint, Lorna. Yeah, get her off the radio. Is there anything out here that is useful? Like a gun? Ooh, a thermos. I had no idea how to get to the coal mine. Maine would know. And I had a feeling I wouldn't get a chance to ask anyone else anytime soon. Whoa, Maine, that picture is not... Oh, is that supposed to be like radios in his eye? That's not a good picture, buddy. Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in. Folks, I'm going to see if I can talk him into an interview. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Hello. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Uh oh. No way to run now, James Brown. You got it away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here. Please. Pull your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Dude, what the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. What is he? Is he drunk? Yeah, I'm running again. Fuck off! Ow! Uh, I guess I gotta run again. You yet, even if it kills me, you hear me? You hear me, HP Lovecraft? What's with the author metaphor? I've off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. <laughs> it was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? What is the matter with this guy? Is he? I, th he's, I think he's down. just a drunk. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. Oh, hell yes. Because I don't really have enough gear to kill a lot of these. What's that? Oops. Well, it's not exactly what I meant to do, but. God, shotgun ammo, revolver ammo, revolver! Hello, my old friend. I've missed you, cold steel embrace. Oh, really? Yeah. Oof. Don't see any reason to fight these guys, but I have to hide. Gave me shotgun ammo, but I don't have a shotgun. Still, it'll be useful for later. Now we gotta find a chance against these losers. Oh, hi.
Come on! We'll play fairly from now on, punks. I gotta remember that I have the... There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. What is this place? Why is... Bright falls... Al what? Lights and what the hell, man? Seriously? The darkness controls the Taken. Oh, well that didn't help me much more. Shotgun! That's not what I meant to do. Mm. Hi guys. Uh uh. I didn't know they could hit each other. That's probably what I need to do, is what I probably need to do is just, uh, there's so many of them. I need, just need to get them all in a room. Oh, there's a light right here. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to go around activating all that stuff before we fight, bro. Jeez! I did not see him, by the way. Not see him. Must be a path through the woods around here somewhere. Probably up by that light over there. Looks like they only stay on for a amount of time, but anything helps to watch my back and 
keep them from having a hundred, 360 degrees around. Oh, gee, I wonder if I should go this way. The bulldozer's engine roared to life. Why is it a bulldozer? Who was it fought for traction? It crashed the concrete wall and landed heavily in the yard. If it were an animal, it would have shaken its head after the impact, fixed its eyes on me, and charged. Of course, it had no head, nor eyes. Shadows crawled on its form, twisting it into a monster. Then, it came for me. Oh, I can't go that way. Reach the train depot? What train depot? How do I know there's a train depot? Saw that. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. You think? He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Yeah, why is this guy so... Oh, this train. We're gonna have to suplex this train. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't really have Hello? time for this. The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Okay, we're in a lot of trouble Alice, right now. I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Oh, I see that. There is something over here. Stupid low lonesome. itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. That's no good. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. What does it matter? I, I don't... Oh, well. Whoever's... I want to say it's that crazy woman who's doing all the power stuff, but I don't know for sure. Also, how would she do that? Got it. 
thought that branch was supposed to. Oh, well, that's no good. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. Okay. What was that? What was that? What was that? Why am I not backing away from the thing? Because it's Is got. It sure. I hoped I could find a car from there. You die a lot in this game. Probably should have put it on easy mode just because I should have remembered how hard this game is. But it's too late now. I think it's too late now. Oh, cool. Statistics. Options, controls, graphics, that's advanced graphic of audio, subtitles, yeah, no, don't even want to consider trying to play this on that kind of difficulty. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger. And it was taking over everything in its path. Let's go this way. Stay here. Don't think they can get to us easily. Except that one kid. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I see you. Because it doesn't, they don't, they're not like the people, they won't flinch. I can't dodge it. Hang on, go wait a second, let the battery recharge. Slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Oh, that's wonderful. As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. 
The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. I see that, Thomas. I see that, too. Oh, I see that. Batteries. Shotgun. Uh, I can't take the revolver ammo, but oh well. You guys. I dodged that. I dodged that too. And I got smacked in the face. That time I did not dodge. Objects I was that have come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror Heavy story. Heavy duty. What? Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. Wait, I have a stronger flashlight now? Well, why the hell did it not... <clears throat> I feel like you should have said, I found a bigger flashlight. Because that's a big upgrade right there. Okay, yeah, I gotta go collect the uh, thing again. That's a big upgrade right there. Since I know they're coming, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this ready. this I'm going to loot thank you thank you push the button I dodged out of your damn way This was a really Find a handgun. Does everyone in this dinky little town only have revolvers? Why couldn't it be in Texas where I could get like an assault rifle? In light, you can hurt them. Thank you. I was unaware of that. Thank you so much. Oh, help. I, I, I should be nicer. Whoever that is. Yeah, I see the TV too. Don't worry, we'll watch it in a second. I just want to make sure I get everything else. Okay. Get, 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 get out of the way. We take the facts of our existence for granted, unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion. What? A vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right. In night springs. Dun dun dun. Tonight's episode, A Family Occasion. Journalist Alden Durlis' trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than 
successful. Until tonight. Why would you go in there? Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Derlin, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Could I really? Of course, Mr. Durden. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, um, I... Mm. 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 This is probably not good. What, what did you have? Oh, Mr. Dwarf, you have well pleased Nixie Perka, the dweller in flesh. What? Your body shall host his thousand young, and all shall be glory. Shh, darling, be calm. Shh. At to go. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Great. Oh, this is totally not an arena. I'm sorry, what now? Sit down. Yeah, hang on. I see. Oh, there's. Oh, okay. So, in case you were like low on resources, there's plenty of stuff over. Well, let's make sure we have everything that we need. I hit that thing and I thought it was something dangerous coming at me, but no, it's just my stupidity. Okay. Okay, uh, can I get up there? I don't think I can. How many f God, yeah, I have a lot of flares. Okay, if I wasn't such a pathetic little rider, I could probably climb that and go exploring, but I can't. Let me hear you say truck. Yeah. Let me hear you now. Say truck. Ooh, coffee. Wait, is that something I can grab? Oh, there's a truck. Uh, more importantly, there is a save spot. Okay. I'm sure everything's going to be fine now.